Hello fellow witches or witches to be or not, whatever floats your boat. I am Phoebe and in today's video I'm doing an updated witch altar tour. I did an altar tour about 10 months ago now and it has changed quite a bit since then. Over the last 10 months I've acquired a b bunch of like bits and bobs and just little things that I added to my altar and I changed around quite a bit of stuff on my altar. But I am now ready to give all of you an updated altar tour because I'm quite happy with how it is now and I don't think I'm going to be changing too much of it. I mean, I'm definitely going to change things. It's like something that keeps growing your altar space and like keeps changing. But I feel ready right now to give you an updated altar tour of what my altar looks like now. So without further ado, let's just get into the tour. So this is my altar space. It is in this bay window thingy. Someone kindly told me in the last video what this is called. It's called a bay window and in this area of the bay window I have like my whole altar set up. So here's a quick overview and I'm gonna start at Aphrodite's altar. So here we have Aphrodite's altar. Aphrodite was the first deity I ever started working with and she came to me in my need of my recovery from my anorexia and she helped me find self-love and all of that. But yeah, I have her statue here that I got in Italy at the Tower of Pisa. I had been looking for an Aphrodite like statue for like a long time because I wanted to give her a proper own altar and when I saw it in Italy when I went there on vacation I was like yes I'm taking this with me right now and I did and luckily it survived the trip back home which was a 24 hour car ride and it's now it's here. Behind her there's a shell that I got at a beach and a picture of the sea, a rose and just an Aphrodite picture. Then we have a shell over here, shell over there, and two rose quartz towers and a selenite stick. And this little table runner thingy that I got from Shein. And this tray I also got from Shein and this is Aphrodite's candle. It's just a pink handle and I drew the Aphrodite like symbol on it with a golden paint marker. This is a pelvis and a funny story, I didn't give this to Aphrodite, my cats did. It was actually up there and my cats like pushed it off and it landed on her altar right here and I was about to pick it up and Aphrodite like told me like no I want to keep that. So she's keeping it, it's there, it's been there for a few months now. It's my cat's offerings to Aphrodite, period. And then we have another picture, the bird of Venus right here. And this plate with the roses on it that I got from the thrift store. And this little table is actually also from a thrift store. Right there we just have my... What's it called? I speak Dutch. That's my first language. This is my heater. I'll put it... I don't know what it's called in English. And heater. If you noticed, this was um, red in my last altar tour. I painted it green because green is my favorite color. I don't like red that much, so it's green now. <laughs> Thought I'd point that out real quickly. Right here we have some rocks that I found that I thought were neat. So there are a bunch of like mason jars with herbs in it and eggshells, salt. This is a little one that has green salt in it. Here we have some more neat rocks that I thought were really cool. They're like so smooth. I love smooth rocks. Look at that. Smooth boy. And this rock that I found in our garden. Oh fuck. That I found in our garden and I paint tried to paint a goddess on there. Uh, it didn't turn out so well. I was gonna leave it in the forest. But I didn't like it enough to put it in the forest. So it's just it's just here now. And I'll probably find another rock to like paint the goddess on to leave in the forest for someone to find. But this one is just on my altar now. In this jar is tulip uh, petals and my selenite iceberg tower. Here we have a little jar with like evil eyes on them that I put on there. And there's some blue and white candles in here. Some incense sticks that are like half burned. These incense packets from uh, the action. And this sage bundle that I would have not gotten myself. I 
I am not allowed to have sage bundles, like it's cultural appropriation and I don't support that, but it did come in a mystery kit and it's just there now. I don't burn it, I don't even allow it to burn it. So it's just sitting there. If I get another mystery box from that person, I will just ask them to not put in a white sage bundle and just tell them that they shouldn't put them in there. This is a little selenite pencil with the chakras on it that I got at my local metaphysical shop. It's new in my city and I'm so happy to finally have a metaphysical shop in my city. So I'm gonna be going there often, bruh. This is a little jar with these petals in it. This used to be a little flower bundle but it started like wilting so I took all the leaves and put them in there because it was a gift from nature. And in here, I have no idea what's in there, honestly. But this is a little alabaster turtle that I got in in Italy as well. It's just a little alabaster turtle that sits over here. Now on the actual table, we have my mortal impister, and my singing bowl and my cauldron. That is actually an, an antique ashtray that I found at a thrift store and I just got it because I needed a cauldron to burn stuff in. The single singing bowl I got in Italy and this I also got in Italy. The table uh, is a vanity from the Ikea. This is a little hexazak book here or a witch's pocket guide. Uh, this used to be my mother. When she was in her early 20s, because she used to practice witchcraft, and she just kind of gave it to me when I started getting into witchcraft, which was around the age of 12. And I've had it since then, and I'm like 21 now, so it's going to stick with it. I had to tape it, because it was falling, it still is falling apart, but I just keep it on here, because it, it's, I just feel like I need to keep it, because it used to be my mother's. And now it's mine. I'm not gonna have any children, but maybe I'll give it to my niece if she starts getting into witchcraft. Maybe someday. We'll see. This author cloth is from Attitude Holland. It's just black and it has like a triple moon symbol and a pentagram. Here we have two incense burners. Um, I got one years ago when I started, you know, burning incense. And that was this one. And this one I got for Christmas one time. And now we have this little candle, like spell candle holder. There used to be a candle on here, but it got so hot this summer that it melted. And it like had erectile dysfunction, so I took it out because it's still quite warm some days. And I don't need another candle melting on me. And we have this little selenite wand that has like chakra stones on it. Now I'm gonna go over here. Here we have Anubis's corner. Got um, a statue of Anubis that I got from Etsy. This candle that I carved that in and his name. Um, a fuck tourmaline little thingy. This chocolate piece that I offered. I keep offering him chocolate because he keeps wanting dark chocolate. So there's almost always there's a piece of dark chocolate at his area. It's just he likes his dark chocolate. And then I don't know if you can see it, but there is an obsidian tower right there. Then we have this plant. It it is actually doing well. It looks like it's not because these leaves are dying. It's normal, they die and then they regrow into green leaves. It's just like a constant cycle with this plant, so don't worry, it's not dying. Like on my last alder tour, I said that I was like I sucked at taking care of plants. I've gotten a lot better, and I did not need a rude comment telling me that I keep letting my plants die. I'm trying my best. <laughs> in all seriousness, it's fine. I did let indeed let my plants die. I've learned since then to take better care of my plants. Right here we have this amethyst cluster that I got at Comic-Con, amethyst tower that I got at a spiritual convention, this is a citrine tower that I also got at a spiritual convention, this is 
a fake tile. It's real crystals, but they're like in resin that I got from Shein. Do not buy crystals from Shein, okay? Don't make the same mistake I did. It's literally crystal ships in resin. It doesn't even look nice, and it doesn't feel nice. It's, it's, don't buy crystals off of Shein, please. Then we have these hard stones that are like chakras that I got from Spiru, which is a online spiritual shop from Belgium. So those are what these are from. And we have my goddess, like Mother Nature statue that I love so much. I got her from Attitude Holland. I think she's like the centerpiece. She's gorgeous. She's, she's everything. I love her. And she is right in front of my little pentagram wood cutout. We have this rock that I painted with a peace sign on it. Another one of those Shein towers that are crystal ships in resin. This is my wand. I love my wand. I made this myself. I love it so much. Like it's just a stick that I found outside that I like felt drawn to and then I put like an amethyst on the top and like secured it with rope. This little pentagram charm that I put on there. And yeah, I love my wand. My wand is great. I love it. Then we have two jaws, probably from like deer or something. My brother actually found these and gave them to me. He goes like bone hunting almost every day and he almost every day finds something. Like he f finds these amazing deer skulls and he even found a fox skull and a boar skull. Like, <laughs> bro, calm down. Why are you finding so many death things? But no, we just, we like collecting bones. These are all naturally diseased um, animals. We didn't kill them. I'm vegetarian. I would never even, you know, hurt an animal in any way. But I just find something peaceful about finding beauty in death. So that's why I have a lot of bones. Most are my brother's found finds that he gave to me. But some are just my own finds. But then we have this little Archangel Michael part. I am actually a crystal pagan, so I am also a Christian and I do witchcraft and I can't do that because I don't care what other people think. If I want to be a Christian and a witch, I can do that. But yeah, here we have my candle for Archangel Michael that my brother actually got me for Christmas one time. He was like, he gifted me it and he was like, before I wrapped it, like unwrapped it, he was like, you're either going to love this or absolutely hate this. There's no in between. And <laughs> I opened it and I I did both. It was just funny because he knew that I'm, like, obviously he knows I'm a Christian. He's not a Christian, but I am. No one in my family is a Christian, except for me. Then we have a little Mother Maria statue that I got from the thrift store. And this rose quartz cross that my brother found in the basement and gave it to me and then we have my Archangel Michael statue that I um, I got this at a famous cathedral here in Belgium it's like in the gift shop across from it and yeah I just bought this one and here we have a big amethyst cluster my full moon water with like a moon faces information card behind it this is a an empty lemonade bottle from Richie. Richie is a local farmers like brand that makes their own lemonade and we like supporting local farmers, you know. So me and my mom really like the Richie lemonades, so I put one of those here with a tall candle in it. And we have rainwater that is looking a little bit dirty. Obviously it's rainwater. And then we have my little witch's bell. That I'm gonna replace because it doesn't it doesn't work very well. But I got this from my mother. Then on the table again, we have a bunch of crystals. We have the Selenite uh, charging plate here with um, labradorite, palm stone, amethyst palm stone. This stone that I got for my uh, spring. Oh fuck, my spring. 
don't know what it's called. It's like a ritual, like a druid ritual that you do during spring. So like with, at the age of 14 to transition from childhood to adulthood. I'll put it on a I put the name of the ritual here on the screen if I remember. If I, if, I'll just look it up and put the name on the screen. I'm rambling now. But that's the ritual I did and the druid that guided me through the ritual gave me this stone as a gift. Then this hard bowl, well it's not really a bowl, it's more like a plate. It's probably an ashtray to be honest. It's from the trash, uh, thrift store, it has a rose quartz palm stone and some little tumbles. This heart shaped selenite disc plate bowl is from Spiru and it has rock crystals in it. And this hard bowl is also from the thrift store. And also it's like tumbles and small rods in here. And here we have a plane that isn't doing too well. I have two of these planes and for some reason neither of them are doing well. And I don't know if it's just like that I don't know how to take proper care of these type of planes. But if this one ends up fully dying I'll probably just replace it with a plane that's a little easier to take care of. Because these, 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 I don't even know what kind of plane it is but it's not doing it for me. And here we have more bones. First of all, this is like a pentagram, pentagram candle holder. I got this like for like at the Aldi. <laughs> they sold it during Christmas time. It was probably just supposed to be like a Christmas star, but it's literally a pentagram. Like I just got it because it's a pentagram. And then I put this pelvis on here that I found. And these are like tiny little bones that I use for like bone divination that I tied in a bundle. My brother found most of these and gave them to me. And then we have three cat skulls, and um, the story behind them is one my brother found at the playground, which I think is this one, and he took it home and gave it to me because I already had this, this one. And that one I've had since I was like seven because my dad accidentally dug it up when we were like planting new grass in the garden when I was like a little kid. And then that one my brother also found and it's not complete whatsoever. It's like falling apart, it's like really brittle, but I still love it nonetheless. Here we have a spine that I found. And this is a little jaw from something that my brother found. And that's a little skull from something that my other brother found. And this is just a jar of bay leaves and my horseshoe for a good luck. On my windows I have this sun catcher like like privacy privacy screen and I did cut out a little I don't know if you can see it like triple moon goddess symbol and put it up there here we have a little crystal hanger that's like the big tumbles and crystal ships at the bottom this is a evil eye what's it called like hanger that I got from Spiru. Here we have a wind chime that I use for sound cleansing that I got from the Big Bazaar. And we have this hanging plant here, which is actually not a real plant because my ceilings cannot hold real plants, okay? This is a fake plant that was like really light so I can actually hang it. And this macrame thingy my mother actually made and gave it to me. Then up there we have some orange slices oh my god going across and my chakra flags my my herb hanging drying thing that has some flowers and herbs hanging from it drying and up there is my evil eye lantern that I upcycled it was just a lantern that I got at the action and I painted the evil eye on it and put the little evil eye at the bottom. If we go down again, I have this little duck that my <laughs> brother thrifted and gave me. It's really cute, it's like antique. And it just sits here. I love ducks. Let me kneel down. These are most of my witchcraft books that I either got for Christmas or any other occasion really. I didn't buy any of these myself. They were all gifted to me. And I have this 
coffin shelf that there's nothing in there except for this bone. Because I don't, I want to put more herbs in here, but I don't have any more herbs. Well, I have more herbs. I just don't have any mason jars, so I need to get new mason jars so I can put more herbs like in here. This is just my frog trash can and my violin is right there. No one cares about that. Then uh, last time, I forgot to show you what's in this shelf, so I'm gonna do that this time. I'm not gonna forget. Here we go. First of all, candle. It's not supposed to be there. Hair elastic is not supposed to be there. This is all my incense. I have a bunch of incense. Here I have some tea light candles back there. And this is just some incense cones. I have my essential oils here. Some more uh, incense. In this box is my excess herbs, like in little bags. But I need to get mason jars for it, like I just said. Here we have some extra shelves. We have some bone pieces here. This is a box that has my information book on my runes in there. Here we have a bunch of little baggies. Because <laughs> I get these all the time and I just keep them. Because I like little baggies. Oh, and this one is my... In this bag, my runes are in here. Oh, fuck, my rune just fell out. Anyways. This is a little pendulum mat. My old wisdom cards that I don't use. This is my tarot deck. Here we have my melted candle that I just told you about that melted. Here we have some charcoal disc, my spell candles. What's in here? I don't even know. Oh, that's my my dead chicken's feather. We lost her due to illness and that was sad. There's some more essential oils here. Um, some spell candles and some wax melts and that kind of stuff. So that's in this drawer. And if we go down, there's more. <laughs> of course there is. First of all, here are some older witchcraft books that used to be my mother's. Well, most of these used to be my mother's. There's a few in here that I got myself, like the crystal grid one. And this there's this random unicorn book there from Anne Stokes that I got signed by her. But that's not that shouldn't really be here. I should probably take it out of there. Then we have my chicken ear that is that is missing its beak. I have its beak. I need to glue it back. But for now, he's 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 beakless. He is a chicken. It's a sheep. No, that's actually is that a chicken or is that a rooster? It's a statue. Who cares? And then we have these drawers here. This used to be my author when I was younger. Only this little shelf. There was like stuff in here, that extra stuff and then a few things on top of it. I actually painted the triple moon goddess and the pentagram on it myself when I, you know, started using this as my author. This, this was my OG author, okay? This was the first author I ever had and it's tiny. That's all I had, which is fine. You don't need a, a lot, but it just, it's weird to see all of this now in comparison to what my altar used to be. In here we have this wax melt thingy, extra um, Lucifer's matches. Is what is what they call it in English? Did he also call it Lucifer's, or is that just in Dutch? I don't know. It's a little drawer that I want to use for spell someday. In here, what's in here? Oh yeah, here are my tiny jars. In this little end soaks box. This is an extra candle for some. This is my dagger case, I guess you call it. It's a tall candle here. This is my shadow work journal that I got for Christmas. Because I need to do more shadow work and just going to therapy isn't gonna cut it. At least I'm going to therapy, you know? And we have a little box that has. Oh, yeah, my witch's sand in it. Extra matches. I'm gonna put those with the rest. And we have an extra prayer candle. This duck skull that my brother found for me. And I don't know where to put it. Like this is the beak and this is the skull. Here we have a jar that's empty. And this mug with the wolf on it. And this has 
crystal ships and extra bones and a very old petal jar in there. So that's what's in this drawer. On to the last one. Okay. Candles, lots of them. Tea candles, bigger tea candles. Extra jars. A bone. Wow. A skull. <laughs> Sorry, let me just take this out. I still need to find a place to put this, but this is my deer skull that my brother found and gave me. He also has one. And yeah, he didn't need an extra one, so he gave me this one that he found, and I think it's so cool. And yeah, I told you, he finds everything. But yeah, I'm just gonna put that here, because I don't know where to put it yet. I want to put it somewhere on display, but I don't know where, so it's just in here for now. Then we have a big bag that I didn't want to put it with the small ones. This little tea light holder with the hedgehog. I have a matching one, is it in here? No. I have a matching one that has a frog on it. Here we just have a random cool rock. My Yule Goat. That is from the Ikea. Don't judge me. <laughs> My um, Mother Nature candle. Some more other candles. This used to be Aphrodite's candle right here. And yeah, that's... Oh, and my dagger in here. That's basically everything in here. Let me put this back. And that is basically my altar. That's a litter box. No one cares about a litter box. But yeah, that is my that is my altar. So, that was basically my altar. I think I did go through it quite a bit faster than last time. Just because I didn't spend too much time going into exact detail detail about everything but I think it's still gonna be quite a lengthy video maybe 20 minutes which is the same as my last one but yeah that was my altar tour so if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a like and if you want to see more witchcraft stuff you should subscribe because I post mainly witchcraft and bookish videos so if you're interested in that don't forget to subscribe if you feel like it because it does help me out and it means a lot to me but you don't have to if you don't want to, obviously. So, I hope to see you in the next video. And if not, then have a great day anyways. So, hopefully till next time. And yeah, bye.